our world has changed a lot over the last five or so weeks. We can no longer gather in large groups. We're wearing face masks to the grocery store and the pharmacy, and we have to sit our guest six feet away from me to keep us both safe. As host of Kelloland on the Road, Mike Huther took up the challenge of social distancing when he and photojournalist Taylor Yoakum headed out on the road last month to bring you this month's show. Yet that didn't stop this crew from bringing us positive and inspiring stories once again, like always, and maybe even more important now than ever, thank these you. stories that you're telling. Ashley, thank you. Uh, and you're right. Uh, uh, Kelloland really believes strongly that it's a perfect time to to bring positive, uplifting, and motivational stories to, to our viewers. And we felt that from the beginning a year and a half ago, but oh my, right now, it's never been needed more. And, and just wait till you see these three stories. They will certainly lift you and your family members up in ways you can't believe. Well, I want to start right away with Avon, the pink, this is a good story. Oh, this man. is a really good story, the pink ladies. The pink ladies, uh, there's an, um, first of all, the pink ladies is a group where you get together, you you play darts, you you socialize, you have a great time in, in towns all across South Dakota and Nebraska and all around this area. And then ultimately, not only do you have fun, but you raise money uh, for cancer uh, uh, victims and for their families. And, and it's just a positive, really um, powerful story. And yes, we want every Kelloland uh, community to have their own Pink Lady chapter before we're done with this story. That's a good idea. We should do that. And, you know, I think you would agree. I've known you in this capacity for a long time. Nothing is better than being with friends and raising money for something important. Yeah. And again, there's, you know, that, that opportunity to be a steward, you know, to share our time, to share our talent, to share our treasure as an outward sign of our love. And uh, this is just another organization that does something a little bit unique, throwing some darts, maybe having a beer or two, hanging out with friends. And yes, raising money and impacting uh, a, a really, really great cause. What a good story Thank to you. tell. White Lake. Yeah, White Lake. Uh, I received a referral from my cousin in Rapid City. And ultimately, uh, he was in uh, the, the hair business for a long, long time. And I said, Kevin, I go, hey, buddy, tell me uh, a good story about a cosmetologist out there. And he, he found a great one. Ke Chris Kiefer has been in this business, the cosmetology business, for 50 years. And the storyline, yeah, it's, it's a little bit about hair cutting and dyeing, but really what it's more importantly is what happens behind and in front of her chair. Those conversations, mm -hmm. Ashley, you know, uh, the way that she makes an impact in White Lake and in this community that's still going strong. Uh, again, one of those stories that uh, it's got a really unique twist to it, but I know you're going to love it. Uh, my hairstylist knows more about me. She's my counselor, I think, right? Well, and actually, I talk about that, too. Uh, Amy D is my uh, this person who takes care of my hair. She's been doing it for, for years. And, yeah, I love the way she cuts my hair. But ultimately, I love the way that she communicates with me, and we talk about life, too. Keeper of the towns. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about Lesterville. Oh, my. Uh, and, and if Taylor were here, uh, Kellen viewers, he would tell you that this is one of his all-time favorites. So you don't want to miss this one. This is a story about Joe's sub substation, which is located just outside of Lesterville in Yankton County. And it's three generations of family members that have taken this little plot of land and they built a business that has sustained three generations since 1934. And yes, Kellen viewers, get ready. I know there's some of you who still remember eating bullheads and eating carp. Well, we're going to take you back to that time, and uh, you're, it'll, you'll just love it. It's, it's really a, a, a great story, and I can't wait for you to watch all three. Can you tell us why this is one of Taylor's favorite all-time stops? Well, I think one of the things that, uh, again, Taylor's a different generation than I am. Mm -hmm. He is, yeah, no, no doubt, uh, as are you, yeah. Ashley. Uh, but when we go on the road, I learn so much uh, on these road trips, but Taylor learns a ton too. And so here I take him back to an old storyline back in the 1930s, the 1940s, uh, eating bullheads, you know, uh, chopping carp, uh, you know, substations and the importance of electricity back in the olden days. And I think that he really uh, values that. And then when he can take all this all these pictures and all the film that we got, and he can help put it together for the viewers of Kelland. He really, really enjoys it, and that's why we're blessed by it. Yeah, I, I know Taylor well. He is 
not the same generation as you, but he's got an old soul. I can see why he would love that. We, uh, the two of us together, we've made a great team. Uh, I'll never forget, we were probably two blocks outside of Kellan, our very first road trip, and we had already connected, and we've been uh, doing it ever since. And, and I think that that's really what's helped make this uh, on the road show just a real, real huge hit. And folks, it is a huge hit, and I can't thank you enough for watching it, but I'm gonna ask you now, Call your family, call your yeah. friends, I don't call your enemies, I could care less, <laughs> but have them watch tomorrow night's episode because it's really, really powerful and, um, and what a way to, to, to feel good about life uh, in such a grand way. And you don't have to just watch tomorrow night's episode because all of your episodes are on Kelloland.com and this is very, like you like to say, binge-worthy. Uh, actually, it is. You know, I think that, you know, we... We are trying to social distance. We're trying to stay home more. And what a great way to stay home with family and friends. Watch on the road episodes. Each one's about six and a half, seven minutes long. Uh, just go to kelland.com, go to the community link, uh, click onto that, and you'll see all of the shows that we've done uh, on the road over the last year and a half. And they're powerful, and they're for everybody. Um, and I think that's one of the questions that people ask me the most is that, oh, Mike, I missed last month's show. And I'll go, oh, hey, don't worry. Just go to kelland.com and you'll find them and uh, you'll really, really enjoy them. So, yeah, binge them. Binge watch it. Binge them all. While uh, you're there, go on over to the Kelland Living tab and binge yeah, watch that too, well. right? You might as well. You know, there's this Ashley and yeah. Brittany person. I, I heard they're pretty good too. I heard that too. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know, a lot of really fun things we can watch on kelland.com. And it might give people some ideas as well for some things you should go cover because referrals, you love to have people tell you the stories. Almost all of us have a connection with a small town across Kellan. And almost all of us know something positive or powerful or unique that's happening within that small town. What I would ask is just send a referral to Kellan. Uh, let me know, uh, Mike Huther, and, and then I'll, I'll certainly check it out because I've received some of the best story ideas from viewers like all of you. We'll pull up uh, the website real quick so they know exactly where to go so th that they can see. Thank you where to submit that. We're looking at it right now. Just head on over and you'll be able to put your referrals in and, and look send at a all message. those stories. I know. I mean, there they are. The Harlan Temple from Davis and, and uh, the road trip that we had in Tolstoy and so go Go watch them. Grab a, grab a soda, grab a beer. Yeah, grab a glass of wine. I know you're doing the wine thing. Yep. Grab it and just enjoy on the road uh, with your family and your friends. But don't miss tomorrow night's show. You're going to thoroughly enjoy it. Well, that's a great idea. We'll be watching tomorrow night, and Thank then we'll you. keep watching the old episodes. They sure are good. Thank you, Mike. Stay positive, Killen. We need you. In our continuing effort to help us all find the positive in our current situation, you can catch this month's episode of Kelloland on the road tomorrow night. You can catch the entire April episode with all three complete stories tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time, right here on your Kelloland station.